magnetic force on a wire. In this lab, you will be placing current through lengths of wire that are inside of a magnetic field. That magnet array is going to be sitting on top of a scale. And as you change the amount of current going through that wire, there will be a force on that wire, either up or down. We will be able to measure that force on the scale. An important thing to keep in mind in this situation is that the wire is stationary, and we are looking at the weight of the magnet array. That means the measurement we're getting on the scale isn't the force on the wire, it's the Newton's third law pair to that force. A good way to think of it is if there is a downward force on the wire, but the wire cannot move, the pair force on the magnet will be a up force, which will cause the reading on the scale to go down. You can think of it almost like the magnet is doing a chin-up on the wire. It's pulling down on the wire, which is lifting itself up, which makes the scale that it's sitting on read a lower effective mass. On the other side of that, if the force on the wire is upwards, the magnet is pushing against the wire, which will cause an apparent increase in the mass reading on the scale. In this lab, there are three different sections. In one section, you will be changing the length of the wire by swapping these wire lengths out. The actual length of each of these wires is listed in the lab procedure. Another part of the lab will be leaving the wire in place and changing the amount of current so we can change the length of the wire and see the result of change in force. We can also change the current in the wire and see the result of change in force. And lastly, we can swap out the wire for this adjustable coil And this allows us, at a constant current, to change the angle of the wire relative to the magnetic field. A few important things to keep in mind when you're doing this lab. We are producing a not insubstantial amount of current to go through these wires. So, to make sure we don't have any problems with wires or electrodes heating up, we want to make sure to turn off the power supply whenever you are not actively taking measurements. To get the sensitivity that we want in our scale, we are going to be rather close to the maximum weight limit of this scale with our large magnetic array. Unfortunately, all of the lab tables have metal structures, and there are some metal parts in the scale which means in certain configurations, you will read a larger effective mass because the magnet is being attracted to the scale parts and the table. That means that if you are overloading your scale, by changing the relative orientation of the magnet, you will likely be able to lower that mass enough that you do not overload the scale anymore. In order for the wire array to be able to rotate, there needs to be slack in these two lead wires in it. If you are not paying attention when you plug the coil into the arm, you can trap those wires on the outside of the supports, which will remove that slack. And when you try to rotate the coil, you can break those electrical connections. Thank you for watching this video. Here is your fun fact of the day.
The European robin can see magnetic field lines, but only with its right eye. If their right eye gets damaged as an adult, they can no longer migrate. 